In this video, we will create stackups from the added materials, and define rosettes onto the chassis surfaces. Close the model, after assigning name selections to the geometry. Update the model tab. Go to the ACP pre-setup, and edit. The basic GUI, consists of the graphic window, toolbar on the top, and model tree on the left. The workflow is directed top to bottom in the model tree. The unit system is currently in meters kg, go up to the units and change to millimeters. The specified materials from engineering data tab, are present within the materials data. Create different fabrics from available materials. Name it woven, and specify epoxy carbon woven as the material type with 0.4 mm per ply thickness. The price per area can be entered to estimate the total cost of selected material. In the analysis tab, the change in Young's modulus at fiber orientations can be seen, because it is a 090 woven material, there is maximum strength at 0 and 90 degrees, dropping in between. Create another fabric named core of honeycomb material with 10 mm thickness. In the stackup, the fabrics can be created in a specific layup combination, so they can be applied as multiple layers at a time. Create a stackup and name it structural stackup. Specify the fabric to woven at 0 and 45 degree angles, two plies at a time. In the analysis tab, the polar plot of Young's modulus is circular. Hence, it will not change with alignment in the specific layup combination. The fabric shapes are brought through from the model in the element sets. These name selections will be used for the layup. Rosettes are reference directions or zero degree fiber direction for parts of the geometry. When a certain angle is specified in the stackup, it is referenced based on the rosette orientation. Name the created rosette as top mold. And place it onto the surface of top mold as the origin. The principal direction is in red, going across the width, transverse in green, going upwards, and thickness in blue, directed towards the front. Change the two direction, to flip the z-axis, such that it points inwards. Repeat the process to create rosettes for the bottom mold, front bulkhead, rear bulkhead, right and left side panels. Total, six rosettes have been created. One each, for the top mold. Left side. Right side. Front bulkhead. Rear bulkhead. and the bottom mold. In the next video, we will look at the orientation sets for different parts, and create modeling groups for the ply layup. Thanks for watching.